This is the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Life is fated and unstoppable. And you're unshut up -able. What's up? What's with the pleasantries? You want to know something, just ask. Yeah, at first we all thought it was about damn time. I don't know if you've noticed, but Monarch ain't exactly easy on the spirit. Then it got uglier than a rat eating a sour grape. Everything that could have gone wrong did. Townships were promised evac shuttles that never came. Overland routes were attacked by marauders and wildlife. Supplies went missing. Our equipment started corroding on account of the sulfur in the air. It was a fine mess. They don't go to sleep at night with a morbid understanding that a rapt might eat them while they sleep. Maybe their bosses don't have the right priorities. Maybe someone out there is a bit too focused on the bottom line, but at least they have food delivered to them. I'm not sure we need anything, Cap. We've had our growing pains, to be sure, but here we are, still alive, still fighting. Long as nobody goes around trying to dismantle the whole thing, I think we'll be fine. Progress requires structure. Nobody's gonna build a sewer pipe or a road if they don't got a boss telling them to. The bureaucracy's necessary. Anytime, Cap. A victor, huh? You a true believer, or do you just like the tides? Why, that's borderline offensive, Ms. Ramnareem Wentworth. Of course I believe. The tides are merely a well-earned bonus. I met another believer once. Pushy type. He thought he'd been left behind for a reason. Thought he'd... find some kind of cosmic truth in the wilderness. Got himself infected by a mantis and drowned in a sulfur pool. Some truth. I can't get more brutally true than survival of the fittest. But don't mistake us all for blind fools. Intellect plays a large part in who stays among the living. Glad to hear it. Startle me. Don't sneak up in a prison like that, huh? Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Oh. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? I'll be straight with you. Folk who disappear in the wilderness generally aren't able to come back. Don't get your hopes up.
I think I'm gonna be sick. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. What a gruesome way to die. Even Stellar Bay ain't safe these days. What's the world coming to? You're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? Ha, <laughs> maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. So, what can I do for you? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. They were pretty distinct. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. A worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? Wrap mask and canid eyes right here. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. Oh, I just knew you were a good person. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. Please, won't you go and find my boy? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I... He should have listened to his mama. Thank you. 
You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths! Who the fuck are you? Hey! What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine, we're going. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. You hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? What a charming notion. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. What can I do for you? This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for that. Was there something else? With the whole board, as a matter of fact. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. Something to be said for perseverance. I endeavor to persevere myself. We've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future. I don't know what intellectualism means, but if someone's willing to build us a few practical things around here, I ain't gonna judge them on account of their beliefs. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. Well? Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Returning to the board is your only chance if you hope to survive here on Monarch. Indeed not. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, 
then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. And a Mantisaur problem. And a Marauder problem. Many, many problems, but they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. What Mr. Nandi means is that we have some rather momentous information to deliver to the board. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Mr. Nandi may be correct. If the masses learn that the board disregards their own ordinances, it'd give rise to dissent. MSI could use this information to their advantage. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. That's terrible. What happened? I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Eventually. It really was on my to-do list. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. No one saw me trip over that, right? I need to talk to you, Captain. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. 
Really? I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. I saw it happen. Hell, one of them was in my arms at the time. His name was Hayes, and he's our first stop. I'll show you where he rests. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. You'll get used to it. Show me go! Right, here's the road. Follow it south. Careful. That's the last of them. Visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, come in. Come in. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. I, for one, welcome a reprieve from our travels. That's the spirit. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Something ain't right about this. Oh, hi there. That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. 
Not anymore, though. I don't know. Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Perhaps we should skip dinner. Liar! You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. What do you... Th I don't have time for this. sudden assholes. Ain't enough that the raps eat everyone? Now people are doing it too? It is unnatural. An affront to the grand plan. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear, you've been nosy, haven't you? How very rude. Time to teach you some manners. to die so clean. Yes, these people deserved much, much worse. I wonder what secrets these ruins contain. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire. Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just stink. They'll take a toe off.
Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Freedom. This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Damned philosophists. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. Well met, Cap. I don't much want to talk. Stars, I don't know. My you know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. Oh, right. Uh, uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. Never seen you before. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Nothing on this moon for nobody. A great many things. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Oh, sure. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. You do that.
A Manta Queen? Yeah. We felled it, mind. But... A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. Shed the trappings of a materialistic life, Captain. You'll find your soul much less burdened. Also, we're broke. Yes. If we were meant to enjoy the things that glitter and shine, the universe would provide them. Most of Halcyon is an up Sulphur Creek. I'd wager the opposite. The corporations are doomed. Only we have the truth at our backs, and we are better for it. Now, why have you come? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Oh, yes. Many... Will you... Wonderful. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. 
I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the Iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Philosophists. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. I'm telling you that. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. They're on a very. Welcome. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. You sent the Van Oys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Yes! You're damn right he could have. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. 